to another pregnancy update. Today I look like, I know, I literally just rolled out of bed and that's probably because I did. But if you didn't watch my video yet for my maternity haul of things that I got from an online consignment store called ThreadUp, you need to do that right now. I am currently wearing one of the outfits that I wore. It's a pink shirt. I bought two of these and then this is like a, um, well, you guys saw in the video what it looks like, but it's like a little, um, why can't I think of what this is called? Thing. <laughs> and then I also have some Lulabru leggings that I got, which I've never worn before. Oh, and these socks are from Amazon. They're like little ballet socks, but they've got grippies on the bottom. They're really cool. Um, so anyway, I got these all from a thread up. I think I haven't edited the whole video yet, so I don't know how much everything costs exactly, but I think the leggings were like $2.99 or $3.99, which is really, really good for this brand of leggings. And the shirt and everything, these were probably no more than like $2.99 either. Um, so I think it's really, really awesome if you need some clothes, even if you just need maternity clothes, kids clothes, regular clothes, shoes, accessories, anything. It's really, really good. So I will go ahead and I will link it up in the iCard for you. Um, if you want to go there and if you sign up, I think you get like $10 free, which is also really good because you can get for like $10, you can get like three or four things. I'm not even joking. It's crazy. So I do have to say this is my third pregnancy and usually your pregnancy is like, Oh, I'm this far along. I'm exactly this day, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I just had to look up how far along I was because well, I couldn't remember. So, welcome to week 17. Today, baby is the size of a pomegranate. <laughs> yes, baby is the size of a pomegranate. Now that you're 17 weeks pregnant, start making firm plans, like whether or not you're going to find out the baby's gender, which we are not going to do. As you start making these decisions, the pregnancy will feel even more real, <laughs> which is super exciting, but Part of you is probably feeling a little anxious too. How big is baby at 17 weeks? Baby at 17 weeks is the size of a pomegranate. Your 17 week fetus is about 5.1 inches long and weighs about 5.9 ounces. One crazy thought about week 17 is by the end of the week, you will be four months pregnant. Wow, that's, that is pretty, pretty crazy to think about. Symptoms according to the Bump app while you are 17 weeks pregnant. Increased bodily fluids, weird dreams, itchy boobs and belly, more rapid weight gain, and stretch marks. And if you want to know what your baby looks like at 17 weeks, here's a picture with some ads in case you would like a no touch thermometer. <laughs> Not sponsored by me anyways, by the Bump app it probably is. For the symptoms according to the bump app, increased bodily fluids. I don't really think I'm having much of that other than like, I have to pee a lot. <laughs> That's about it. Weird dreams. I've been having weird dreams since the beginning, but I did have some last night, like we're going bowling today for one of the guard fundraisers. And um, I had like a weird dream that like Kaylee went the whole way down the bowling lane, like, and got into like the ball return. And I had, in the dreams, there were like people with dogs in the bowling alley, which is just weird. Um, so anyway, I do have weird dreams, but they're nothing new. Itchy boobs and belly, I don't really have that. I think things are starting to increase in size a little bit and not necessarily in size, but like density maybe. <laughs> I don't really think they're getting bigger. They're just getting heavier. More rapid weight gain. I actually haven't gained any weight yet, which I think my doctor will probably get on me for. I think at the beginning I actually lost like five or six pounds. And so I'm not even back up to my starting weight yet, which like I said, I don't, I might start getting yelled at. I don't know. And stretch marks. I have been really fortunate to not have any stretch marks with either of my pregnancies anywhere, my legs, my belly, my boobs, my butt, like none of that. I didn't get any stretch marks for any of that, which is super, super nice. And um, hopefully I will be able to keep it that way. I don't know. I don't know how many times I can have a baby and get away with that, but we'll see. I'm crossing my fingers. Um, before anybody leaves me a comment asking what I did to prevent them and how I prevented them, and if I can make a video on how I prevented them, I'll just tell you now, I've done nothing. And 
I'm not gonna make a video on that because I've done nothing. I haven't used any creams or oils or any different types of soaps or anything like that. Um, I've just done everything the same way that I have for my whole life and that's it. I actually don't use like any moisturizers on my body or anything like I don't use um, like coconut oil or any of that like outside of pregnancy. I just take a shower with all of my stuff. I use Dove liquid body soap because I'm actually allergic to bar soap so I don't know if that makes a difference but I use the Dove liquid soap and I I'm constantly changing what I use on my hair. Like whatever's on sale, I don't really care. It's always up in a ponytail and it always looks horrible. So I haven't done anything for my hair, but I just, I don't use any moisturizers or anything like that. I just take my shower and that's it. As far as this week goes, it's kind of the same as the past two weeks. I just have been so busy that I don't really notice any symptoms. The baby is moving a lot and that's really about it. If the baby wasn't moving and yeah, really that's it. If the baby wasn't moving, I wouldn't really even know that I'm pregnant right now. I'd, sometimes I forget and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm growing a baby or something like that. But I mean, I'm tired because I'm working 80 hours a week and I have two kids and I, I don't know, I'm just tired, but I don't know if that's pregnancy related. Um, and that is just really it. Like there isn't really anything else to say about this week. I, do, I just don't have symptoms really. Um, my skin seems to be okay for now. Um, I'm not wearing like any heavy makeup or anything like that. Um, I haven't started having my hip pains that I'll end up having. Um, my blood pressure has been fine. My anxiety for the most part has gone away. It's still here and there every once in a while, but it's gone away for the most part. I don't feel like I'm any more hungry or thirsty than I normally am. I just kind of feel like myself right now, which is really good because that will be changing soon. I know it will be changing soon, but for now, I just don't really feel pregnant until the baby kicks and moves or somebody says something and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still pregnant. So I can't really complain much about that because coming up in a few weeks, I'll be complaining every single day about every little thing because my pregnancies are high risk and extremely painful coming here coming up here in a few weeks it'll start getting like really really painful for me to do anything at all so anyway that's about it for this video um let me know what your symptoms are if you're 17 weeks or what your symptoms are even just now if you're not 17 weeks or you're further along or not as far along let me know and i would definitely be interested in listening to how your pregnancy is different is different from mine or if it's similar to mine or you know anything that you have to say about your pregnancy. So give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!